नमस्कार ऑनरेबल एक्सेलेंसी आचार्य देवव्रत जी द गवर्नर ऑफ गुजरात ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट मिनिस्टर ऑफ आयुष महेंद्र भाई मुंजपाला जी मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लियामेंट अदर डिग्नेटरीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल कंग्रेचुलेट डॉक्टर कृतिक शाह फॉर कमिंग अप विद दिस एडवांस ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम इन होम्योपैथी आई हैव गॉन टू द कोर्स कंटेंट्स हियर एंड आई कुड फाइंड आउट दैट ही हैज कवर्ड वाइड सब्जेक्ट्स अबाउट होम्योपैथी एंड दिस इज अ नीड ऑफ द टाइम स्पेशली एट व्हेन वी आर फेस्ड इन कोविड सिंस आज वन एंड हाफ ईयर and we have now realized the requirement of such a digital platforms for learning when we are sitting at homes and uh, most of the homeopathic colleges uh, under cch and now under nch have taken up such online classes for their students uh, most of us uh, might not be knowing but homeopaths do know that uh, homeopathy india is now the global leader in homeopathy i am saying so it is the second most uh, practiced alternative system of medicine the worldwide it is being practiced and regulated in 80 countries in india we have the largest infrastructure of homeopathy thanks to the ministry of ayush government of india for taking up the development of homeopathy at a such an extensive level we have more than 250 homeopathic medical colleges out of which more than 53 colleges are imparting post graduation even we have thousands of homeopathic dispensaries throughout the country which are providing medical services uh, using homeopathy and if we see that uh, there is a good quality quality control of homeopathic medicines through pharmacopoeia commission of indian system medicine and homeopathy uh, we have a dedicated research organization central council for research in homeopathy which has its 24 centers throughout the country so in terms of infrastructure and in terms of qualified homeopathic practitioners which has crossed now more than 300000 registered homeopathic practitioners practitioner in india nowhere in the world that such a large qualified human resource of homeopathy is available in india and their services are being utilized in different kind of health programs and thanks to gujarat state uh, as a i am also director general of central council for research in homeopathy and uh, till some incumbent joins there and uh, we requested the state of gujarat in covid times that when they opened up homeopathic treatment for covid patients and we could see that when we interacted with the director of ayush in the gujarat state they posted many homeopathic doctors into the hospitals and they provided the homeopathic treatment as add on to the state government hospitals through their to this covid patients and we were technically analyzing that data and this is the right platform where most of the people representing from gujarat state are here that we analyzed 400 4000 such cases treated with add on homeopathy and the results are so much of encouraging that only 0.3% patients got some complications otherwise 99.7% of patient recovered with add on homeopathy from there was they were all mild and moderate cases who recovered very well with add on homeopathy so such a integrated approach of homeopathy towards such a disease which requires tertiary care uh, setup so homeopathy not only helps the patients through their own holistic approach individualistic approach as well as it's a very uh, nano kind of a science which now the scientists have started understanding about this they are working more on the different aspects of homeopathy on the mechanism of actions 
at, at the genomic levels also. So these kind of progress in research, as well as linking this with our education, this will further develop our homeopathic science in the country. So it's a welcome subject uh, approach of Dr. Pratik Shah for coming up with such e-learning program using some technological aspects. And to the dignitaries, I should further inform that uh, homeopathic software was the first software when computer was just introduced in the world. Uh, that software, why we could have come up with that software, it was because of a repertory book which was designed in such a way that symptoms are arranged in alphabetical order in a different chapters. And that actually helped converting our these books into a digital platform into softwares and we are using these softwares since, since many, many years. And that has actually developed the practice of homeopathy. Now the CCH in earlier times, uh, during COVID times, came out with telemedicine guidelines which are released for homeopathy practitioners. They can use those telemedicine guidelines for providing even distance treatment by through interaction and maintaining all documentary records of each and every patient. So thank you for inviting me here. And I hope such uh, use of digital platforms will further develop and have a little more interaction. And we are looking forward towards increasing quality of education through our National Commission of Thank you so much.